what you are about to see is real. When possible, actual members of the families have participated in recreating events. Viewer discretion is advised. They called it the happiest place ever. But for some, it was anything but. When esteemed billionaire Carl Johann Lin opened his prehistoric park of the future, he had no way of knowing that his own future would be one of bankruptcy, humiliation, and death. Was it just a series of unfortunate accidents, a family curse, or was it the work of a deranged boy caught in his father's shadow? You think you know the story. What you hear tonight might just change your mind. The day was July 24th, the year 1972. Families had flocked from all over Europe to be the first to see Dino Land. And what they saw would terrify them. Uh-oh. Bad news, folks. You might want to rethink that family vacation. Families visiting Dino Land looked on in horror as the lovable character Alex the T-Rex was cut in half. The newly introduced dino train hit and killed one of the park's mascots, the lovable T-Rex, an actor playing Alex, a character named after Lynn's own son. I told him, didn't listen, stupid. I told him, only I get to wear the suit for father. The police report suggests the mascot had stepped in front of the train, apparent suicide, but can we be certain? After all, there was only one witness young Alexander Lind himself, a boy described by some as peculiar. Now, have you seen Alex? Not the dinosaur, Lind's creepy son. I don't know what's scarier, getting cut in half by a train or going to the Lind house for a chicken dinner. <laughs> what is the Lind Corporation planning on doing for the families affected by this horrible tragedy? My lawyers have advised me not to discuss Dino Land. Lindstock plummets as more lawsuits are made public. Tragedy followed young Alex wherever he went. The following year, another accident. His sister, prize-winning equestrian Camilla Lind, fatally injured when she fell from a horse while out on a ride with her brother. No, no, don't talk about Cammy. You didn't know her. You didn't know. Some began to talk of a family curse. Others suggested there was something wrong with the boy. While still grieving over their loss, the Lind family suffered another tragedy, Lind himself. Unable to get to his medication in time, the patriarch suffered a massive heart attack. Train dismemberment, death by horse, and a lovable green dinosaur. Some stories have it all, but this one has a happy ending. After two decades of silence, Alexander Lind has announced he's selling the island of Vikendi. To whom? And for what price? That we don't know. For now, the identity of the mysterious buyer remains unknown. Oh, you'll know. One day, you'll know. Father wanted everyone to play his game. But I found a new father. And I like his game much better. Winner! Winner! Chicken! Dinner!